Hi, Mechanic with Brownhouse here. Today we're back with another edition of the Guns of Tarkov. And I'm here with Jesse Holtzman, aka Jesse Kazam, the pizza man, Twitch streamer, and YouTuber extraordinaire. Rumor has it, he's actually been to Tarkov and escaped. So, here we are. <laughs> he's built a ton of guns in Escape from Tarkov, uh, yeah. so it's only fitting that you do one in real life with Mechanic. So, let who is Mechanic? Let's talk about that. Yeah, so, well, first of all, thank you so much for having me, and I love this. I mean, Mechanic is one of the traders in Escape from Tarkov that I've bought many of my gun parts from over my past few years, so it's it's like they, it's a spitting image. So, like, he's the gunsmith. He is the Escape gunsmith in Escape from Tarkov, absolutely, and we get a lot of these parts from him, so uh, it's good to be here with the original Mechanic. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is super cool. I, I you know, Tarkov is, is that game that really prides itself on how realistic this is. I've manipulated a lot of these parts in the game over the past few years. I've built uh, guns exactly like this and similar to this in the game and used them and had a blast with them So it's pretty surreal to be staring at all these pieces. I know their names I don't know a lot about them because to sure. me they're just parts in a video game But it's cool to be here and actually building something. Yeah, so I mean like what I did is kind of Went on to, to some of your streams and yeah. stuff and, and creeped on a little bit saw what parts you were using and Combine those yep. into one gun that you can actually get all the parts from at Brownells Yep. Uh, which is pretty awesome. So that's what we're going to be doing. And if you haven't like Googled who Mechanic is by now, so go ahead and do that. And you're probably thinking like, oh yeah, that guy does look like Mechanic. I'm going to set that straight. Mechanic looks like me. <laughs> that's right. So we're <laughs> the original Mechanic. The right original here. Mechanic. I've been gunsmithing longer than Mechanic's that's been true. Mechanic. So that's, true. that's technically, uh, you know, okay. So what we're going to be doing, jumping right into it, we're going to start with the lower receiver. Okay. So your AR platform or your M4 is divided into upper and lower receiver. Gotcha. We're going to start with the bottom, work our way up from there, and uh, you'll have a finished gun by the time we're done. That sounds great. And, and it's worth noting that, you know, one of the great things about Escape from Tarkov and working with you guys is that for somebody like me coming from the gamer world, this will definitely be my first time building a gun in real life. I've... I've shot some firearms, I've owned some firearms, but I've never built one. I've built plenty in the game, uh, so this is my first experience here, so I'm, I'm yours. You tell me what to do. <laughs> Alright, so let's do it. We're gonna get started. Lower receiver. Alright, so the lower receiver is the brain of your firearm, because okay. that's where your fire control group is. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna slide that onto our vice block. Perfect. All right, so now that we finished the lower receiver, we can go ahead and move on to the upper receiver. Awesome. So we'll just go ahead and pull this out. So this is the, the Viltor Murr upper receiver, right? Yep. Now, once again, I don't know too much about it, but I know that for the best stats in Tarkov, we're always going and swapping out for the Murr, so this is kind of cool. Yeah, and it's a it's a super cool upper receiver yeah. in real life as well. Um, yep. Yeah. Huge shout out to Voltor for providing us with this for this build. Awesome. Because uh, these are these are kind of hard to get at the moment. Really? <laughs> but, but we've got one. All right, so we can go ahead and install our handguard okay. into here.
there you have it. All right. Now we can um, just throw some sights yeah. and the optic on, and that's it. We're done. Mm, I think I think it might need something else. <laughs>